What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to more Black Desert. So today, we hit something we in our enhanced that I thought wasn't going to be happening. I really didn't expect this to happen, but we hit our Tet Black Star. Um, so I do want to try it eventually. Uh, the problem is it's at 25 durability, and yeah, that's not great. But anyway... And we have to recover it to 180, which is good and bad at the same time. Bad because we have to spend more to repair it. Good because once we repair it, it won't be bad again. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we still have all these three things now since we switched to evasion. If you want to watch the last uh, episodes, um, you can do that. Basically, we moved uh, to evasion. We got our pen heave, cat rest 11. And I know 11's not the greatest. You want to get it to 19. Capris 19, which is about like 18 billion silver. So, we bought two Harpias yesterday. Those are about 330 mil each. And, dear God, those are like so expensive. You guys may not think crystals are important mid-game. But when you're at end game, like looking to PvP crystals are expensive like i would assume that this is 600 mil in crystals right now hooms are like 100 mil each gin vipers are another like 300 mil each l cars are another 300 mil each corrupts are probably like 40 30 mil each so i'd say overall my crystals are like 2 billion silver which more than i really think about actually um, so what are we going to do today? Um, we have a few bosses. After nighttime is over, I'm going to be doing the Adventure Log Magaran book with some of my guildies. We got the first and second one done. Crescent was actually kind of annoying. It wasn't difficult. It was just kind of annoying to do. Uh, this one is, um, Sherikins in Dubinkroon. Monchums in comma sylvia and star's end which the rest aren't too bad so we got 10 of these golden seal thingies we're going to turn it into hopefully more memfrags actually because we need memfrags to recover our all right please just no hearts or sharps no hearts or sharps no hearts or sharps all right, Memfrags, that's good. So yeah, we're gonna test it out eventually. Wait, what's that guild? so expensive I actually want to see what does the black star actually look like so this is Zarka I think Zarka looks nice holy dude black star looks cool Wow, it looks nice. Sad thingy is um, my Zarka is in fact better. Better by one AP, and that's only because we have one Capris level into it. So, uh, I don't really know. I don't particularly want to put more L cars in here, so. We do have a few things saved up from a while ago. We have some precisions, which are basically the same thing, just for less accuracy per, which is fine. Um, yeah, so we'll consider that, but 
gotta repair this dumb black star all the way up. I was actually, one thing that was going through my mind was when we, like, do I want to hold on to all of these? If I could sell all of these, uh, both, all three pens plus the black star plus my ogre, I could actually afford, well, I'd probably have to save up a little bit more, but I could actually afford to just straight up buy a pen ogre if someone were to list it. Well, obviously, I'd have to go through that, but... I'd be really close to the point where I don't know. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen, but that was just an idea. Plus I'd rather use the money on Caprison gear. Oh yeah, we have a few more things. Let's uh Did we get our daily scrolls? Let me check. I'm gonna head down to Duvincoon in a bit. frags and a golden fish. We do have mem frags actually to repair it, but just like it's not a high priority for me yet. Um All right, so what were you doing? Do I have 5 of anything? No, we get 5 tomorrow. So infinite potions are coming out next week, so I kind of want to use up all my potions here. It's going to be a while until I actually get it because you have to grind the pieces for it. That's going to be a nightmare, but uh, kind of I have like literally thousands of potions that I need to burn through. Um, let me see. Oh, we got... Remember these Blood Wolf Scrolls? Yeah, me too. We got a lot of them. We got five plus ten. We'll get a few of these done. Remember last time I was like, yeah, we'll do it another time. And then we never went back. So... Should probably get these done now. By the way, I saw your feedback. Um, all of you guys who voted on the quality thing. And overall, I think I'm going to keep most of it. I, I don't really know. Do you guys play on Vibrant or non-contrast? So, let me just give you a general idea of, like where to find all these so i play on vibrance and then i tweaked around the settings that look good for me um vibrance i like you know when you play things you want things to look good right so vibrance has the most color and i know some people are like oh it's too orange or something so i kind of toned it down a little and remastered so I still like Vibrance. Non-contrast is good, too. The other ones are just, like... I swear, if you're just taking screenshots or something. But I'm pretty sure there are a few of them. That are just, like, not meant to be played in normally. Alright, so... We're heading to Doomancroon once night is over. Um... Yeah, I just mentioned I'm going to be doing some Sherikons. I should probably... You guys should be doing this too, because it's a new book. And um, doing it before next maintenance. And the reason why is everyone next week, when you have to do infinite potions, or people who are going for it, Monshum, Sherikons, 
And a few other places are gonna be stupidly overcrowded just because, you know, everyone's trying to grind the parts for it. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get mine done. I'm probably gonna try to grind for the infinite potions next week too, but I expect to, you know, be alt seeing or getting destroyed by other people there as well. I was actually uh, dueling some of my guildies yesterday or earlier today, and after switching to evasion, one thing I really noticed. Okay, so here's how it is. If you look here, this is my evasion 174 plus 443. And that equals up to 617. And then when I talk to people, I'm like, so what should the average evasion be if you're looking to switch? And they're like, oh, around like 650. I'm just like, how do you get 650 with that? Because my gear is already like Capris 5, 6, and you know, 11. And they're just like, they're, even with Capris 9 you still won't hit 650 and everything. The reason why they got it over is because they count the food in the total. So like plus 15 evasion. And if you have harpies, you count another plus 20 for each one. And then if you have a protection stone, that's another 12. So that's like 67. Um, Plus, like, the random crystals. Wait, do whom's give crystals? Whom's, uh... Whom's give evasion, right? Yeah, plus four. So that's not counted. So technically, if you're counting all of that, I'd be at around... Like, 680. Yeah, something cool. I never knew the moon was red in this game or pink. That's cool. So yeah, apparently people count evasion with your buffs and crystals in it, because the tooltip doesn't. So, technically now, now that I know that, it makes things a lot easier. Alright, let's do pretty much everyone's most hated boss. Let's go get a buff on. the CCs you Before when I ran it with like Nuber and I had some uh, RBF adamantine crystals in. I would be pretty high up close to 100% resistant PBE. And now we're uh, 36% which is not close to <laughs> 
So you actually have to play smarter and not just face tank everything. Also, it's probably nighttime, which doesn't really help, I don't think. It was never explained to me. Where, it, like, I don't think it tells you anywhere whether scroll and rift bosses are just bosses in general that happen to appear at nighttime. Are they stronger because of the night buff? Maybe we'll get a Libra Gloves. This boss gave us one weapon stone and then they wonder why no one enjoys running these scrolls. This is like an awakened level boss. did that twice. I don't know why I just try to slant and balance that thing. This time's the charm. Get a Libra Gloves. How much do they actually cost nowadays? Really? I know they super tanked when they gave everyone free boss gear for like the anniversary thing, but thought it would have recovered by this point. Did it twice last time, too. One thing I noticed with evasion, though, is you can actually trade super armors more like, well, just better with evasion compared to DR. Or 
Or you could just get slapped through super armors too. One thing I would actually change to make Dark Knights better is add super armor on Airstrike again. They removed it a few years ago because they thought it was apparently overpowered and, you know, really... no, it's not. We're already a class that doesn't have a grab. And grab classes are very strong, as you guys already noticed. So us having super armor on Airstrike just make things like on an even level I guess I mean there's a lot of other things I'd probably change but realistically just add super armor airstrike again maybe like a forward guard on wait does this actually no I'd probably put like a forward guard on twilight dash um, well, they re nerf slanted balance again, but I'd put forward guard on that, airstrike, invincible while moving really doesn't mean anything. Oh, we got one whole black stone. make this more fun. Fun and interactive. This is how you make trailers for video games. Let's do this. Fourth time, we'll do one more <laughs> and then call it. I know it's not the most fun thing. Up the drop rate on levers from this boss win. I'm still convinced like 99% of the levers that are in the game were from events or night vendor. Because this, you getting the actual drop from here so rare. Alright, what do we do? Play with UI off again? That was fun.
is actually kind of fun. I should play with my UI off more often. <laughs> Well, I think that's it for today. We did five scrolls. They weren't really fun. We didn't get anything good out of it either. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.